Hi, boys and girls. I am Mrs. Hemphill, and I am going to show you how to paint a very, very simple butterfly painted rock. So we're gonna make a butterfly that looks kind of like this one today. And all you're going to need is a nice clean rock and some paint brushes and some acrylic paint. So are you ready to start painting? All right, let's do it. First, we're going to start with a very clean, very dry rock. You wanna make sure there is no sand or dirt on the rock because what will happen if you paint on it is any time that sand or dirt washes off in the rain or the wind, um, the paint will come off with it as well. So you see some markings on here. I scrubbed and scrubbed this rock. Um, that is just a natural part of the stone itself. Now, for those of you who are super duper little painters, if you need a, help, a little bit of help, then you can have an older painter help you out and they can draw some of these lines. But I'm going to show you how we're going to paint this simple design. So I am going to use a flat brush because we're going to do a nice big line. So I'm going to use a flat brush like this and we're going to do the body of the butterfly. So that's this part right here. We're going to do the body and it almost looks like a, a pickle or a cucumber. So I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint right on the rock. Don't mind my puppy dog. He's as big as a horse, but he's really a puppy. All right, so there's the body of our butterfly. And now we're gonna do the wings. So to do the wings, we're just gonna do some scalloped lines and you can do any um, color of your choice. You can do a realistic set of wings, like the swallowtail butterflies that are black and yellow and white, or you could do the monarch butterfly that's an orange and black, or a um, the gulf fritillary butterfly, which is has a lot of orange, or you could just have fun with it. You could see here I started a, a nice pink one. I haven't finished that, so when I show you how we add details, I needed one that was dry. So I'm just going to do a fun little blue butterfly. Let's do a blue one. So I'm going to add some wings and I'm going to do some scalloped lines here. Now again I'm using this flat brush because we're doing some big lines and if we use the fine tip brush we would have to add a lot of paint and it would take us a really long time. So we're just going to fill it in here and right now I know it doesn't really look doesn't really look like a set of wings yet. Kind of looks like a wig. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set this one down and I'm going to pick up a dry rock, the one that I painted, because what you want to do in between um, coats is wait about 20 or 30 minutes before you start painting. If you don't, you're just going to blend those colors together. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to add the outline and maybe some fun little lines to um, add some detail to our butterfly. All right, so to do the outlines, we wanna use a fine tip brush. So you can see this one does not have a flat tip and this is gonna help us in school. You guys might trace things. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna trace or outline all of the lines that we made for our wings. Just like that. Now to give the look of two wings like this one, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the second scallop right here. And we're going to continue this line up a little bit and then down. And then you can smooth that out. 
and that's going to give it the look of the two wings looking at the butterfly from the side. All right, so we're going to add our antenna and you can either have your antenna go straight up over to the side a little bit or you could have them curve. I'm gonna have these ones curve like this, just like that. And then you can add any other designs that you want to right here in the wings. You could see this one here. I added these fun little whimsical lines. This one here, I added lots of color. And then this one here, I just added some dots around the outlining. And I did make the outlines a little bit thicker on that one. So that's a very simple design for a butterfly. I hope I get to see some of your butterflies hidden around town. All right, happy painting, friends.